All right, so in the world of firearms, sometimes the price of the gun doesn't really explain the value of the gun. And uh, being here in California makes me really appreciate this firearm. Um, ended up paying a little bit more than most on outside of the state, but nonetheless, I finally got my dream gun. And uh, gonna fire it for the first time today. It is the XDM Compact 10 millimeter. Um, I don't know why I've been drooling over this gun for about two years or whenever it first came out. So anyway, gonna take it for a ride a little bit later and um, gonna bring you guys along for the ride. All right, so before I take my first shots, one thing I wanted to show off. So when I got it, it came with something called the gas pedal. And uh, apparently when you hold your thumb down on it, it uh, it's supposed to mitigate the recoil. And um, you know, we'll see. I had a 29 for a long time and um, it was a little stout. So we'll see how this one goes. But uh, anyway, it's gonna be my first shots. That thing shoots amazing. It, uh, can't tell you if it's the gas pedal, but, um, definitely happy with my purchase. This is, this has got to be probably the softest shooting 10 I've shot in a long time. Um, as far as my 10 millimeters, I had a, uh, Kimber Eclipse Custom 2 and 10. That was a pretty nice gun. Um, in fact, that's what I traded away to get this thing, so. Call me what you will, but when you live in the state of California, you know what I'm talking about when you're having to pay uh, more than double of what nor you know people can buy in the regular part of the United States. So anyway, um, great gun. I, man, definitely impressed. That thing felt amazing. Um, other ones I have, I told you the Kimber Custom 2 I used to have, got this one. Um, I currently have the XDM uh, 4.5 inch uh, full size 10 millimeter um, also a great gun this one this one just kind of fits the if, if you want to carry it or uh, shoot it um, guy I wish I would have brought my other one out just to see but this thing I'd almost say that it shoots softer for some reason it's it handles really really well so um, other 10 millimeters, I have a couple of custom uh, 1911s. Um, um, what is it, commander size <laughs> 1911s and um, Glock 20. Um, anyway, this thing I would say by far shoots softer than any of those. So could be the gas pedal, don't know. But anyway, amazing gun. One thing I will add, um, so every time I shoot a magazine, I usually make it a habit to clean up the brass shot out of each firearm and um, kind of do that to save time at the end of the day. And uh, I'm not in a rush, just here to take my time. But one thing about this 10, along with all the other ones I've shot, it does sling brass a lot further than any other caliber, which I guess is to be expected with the higher pressures and whatnot, but that was probably uh, slinging brass, maybe 15 to 20 feet out. So anyway, thought I'd let you guys know. Still just amazing. Gosh. All right, so out of my other, this one is California compliant. This is the XDM Compact 9mm or Elite Compact 9mm. 
Um, by the way, that 10 is elite also. Um, but anyway, um, I'm gonna try uh, some Underwood 124 grain plus P plus out of the nine millimeter. Gonna make sure it cycles through the gun. See how it feels. too bad you can feel the plus p plus a little bit but uh definitely manageable great gun also um i also have the xdm 45 compact um another one that i i bought um private party transfer also so become kind of a fan of these xdms they're uh amazing firearms all right so for my third try with the gun i'm gonna try it a uh Defensive distance at about 15 feet. Uh, I'm gonna see how I do on the target. Uh, kind of a smaller, really small B27 type target. And uh, we're gonna see how it does. So I don't anticipate the best shots, but we'll see. Let's see how we did. I'd say that's a pretty decent group. I mean, the sheet itself, my hands aren't the largest, so it's about, gosh, maybe 12 inch by 13 inch target or 12 inch by 18 inch target so feel pretty good definitely something i'm going to end up adding on to my carry rotation for sure i love this gun all right out of my xdm elite compact nine millimeter i'm going to uh try uh see my accuracy at about 15 feet um, using federal punch ammunition i'm going to see how how i do Not the greatest, but I'll still take that 15 feet. Definitely would hit center mass pretty good. So another one of those I'll definitely be adding onto my roster on my next go around. All right, so for my final, gonna try my XDM Compact 45 and um, same distance, 15 feet. Gonna see how I do, accuracy. And uh, well, we'll see how it goes. So that's another pretty decent grouping. Definitely would hit center mass. Could tighten that up definitely a little bit more, especially at 15 feet, but 
happy with the results. Check it out. <sighs> so what are my thoughts on XDMs overall? Um, if I go to my safe over here, I have, let me turn on a few lights here. I have a fair amount of guns. Um, I have 1911s all up the top here, kind of a revolver collection here. Um, this is the Hellcat Pro. Um, this is a gun I'll never get rid of only because they don't make it anymore, but it's the CZ-75B, but it's in 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, I have a row of XDs. One of them I'm actually carrying at the moment. I can put that back in there. Um, down here I have uh, SIGs. Down here I have a couple HKs and a couple of Smith & Wessons. Down at the below is, uh, <clears throat> I have a couple Glocks, the Glock uh, 19, the Glock 30. And then over to the right there, it's a little dark, but it's the um, Ruger Max 9, which is also an incredible gun. But my point is, over all of these, and I know that, I'm um, sorry, uh, Springfield got into a little issue back in the day and made it kind of a political thing to, for people not to like Springfields. And uh, I hate to say it, you know, I, I will say this, I don't let political bias allow me to make a final decision. For example, <clears throat> I drive a full-on EV. I have the F-150 Lightning. I have other videos, or I have a video posted about driving with that. And um, with that and other guns that I have, I just don't let political bias sway me from what I think is a good quality gun um, or good quality ride or anything for that matter. I, I definitely have my political views, but... <clears throat> I don't let it I don't let it ruin the opportunity to find a great a great purchase and um, I have in the XD family this is the XD 10 millimeter elite 4.5 inch um, I have the or that's the XDM sorry this is the XDM 10 millimeter compact elite that I've made the video on. Another one that was in the video, I have the XDM 45 compact. This one's not the elite. This is the old standard that they don't have anymore. Um, and then as far as uh, California roster goes, I have the XDM 9 uh, compact elite. And I will say, although, um, guy, uh, you know, like I said, I have a collection. My 1911s, I don't have, I don't have uh, Ed Browns or anything far, far up in the custom realm. But probably Dan Wesson is probably the most custom I've had. I have a couple of that I that I've made myself that I'm pretty proud of. Um, I am a big Kimber fan. Um, revolvers, they're all great, but gosh, when it comes down to fine quality and handling the recoil and longevity in a firearm, you can't go wrong with an XDM. 
uh, XDMs, XDs for that matter. Um, what's not in my safe? My wife has a safe. Uh, we have it in the kitchen. Uh, she has an XD subcompact nine millimeter. Upstairs in our room, her nightstand gun is the Glock 17, um, nine millimeter, of course. Um, but you really, I mean, even comparing apples to apples, I know Glock has a very long longevity as far as um, history and, and, and durability. But if you take apart, if you, if you just do a simple disassembly of a Glock and you compare it to a disassembly of an XDM or an XD, the thick parts, the quality, the, the, I mean, everything about the XD brand is just incredible. Um, I would put my XDMs probably on top of all of my firearms that I have in my safe. Uh, if, if I had to grab a gun in a hurry and defend my family, I'd probably reach for an XDM faster than pretty much any of my other firearms. I have a lot of trust in them. They are incredible. I, I can't can't tell you any further. I, I've taken classes. I, I've I've built guns uh, through the classes. A lot of things that that I've done, and I can tell you without a doubt, XDs Springfield, for that matter, does an amazing job with building a firearm. And no, they don't support me. If you look at my following list, I don't even have close to enough supporters to think that I'm being funded by Springfield. I'm just telling you as a gun fanatic that they are they are far superior than a lot of guns. And a lot of people complain about the grip safety. I don't know why. Um, these same people will never badmouth a 1911 and the grip safety is just a part of a 1911. Um, XDs, XDMs, they utilize the same thing. Um, you're not going to want to fire a gun unless you have a grip to it anyway. And once you have a grip to it, it's it's a non-issue. So for what it's worth, take it from me. But I, I'm telling you, as a gun fan, XDs, Springfield, XDM, whatever, Springfield Armory, they make an amazing weapon. And... Uh, he, I love shooting these things. I love carrying. I love shooting them. They're just incredible. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I know it was a little long. I know I say um a lot. So you can put that in the comments too. But nonetheless, I love my purchases. So talk to you soon.